Hey guys, this is Killerop speaking, and today we're back in Pro Cycling Manager 2019 with Herbert Hufenpuff. And he is currently at the start of his second season and doing well so far during the Vuelta Ciclista Mallorca. And uh, surprising everyone, there was a second, second place finish in the mountain stage that had a somewhat sprinty, punchy finish where he just 99 his way to second place behind Roglic. Very impressive. Um, but anyway, we are uh, having one more flat stage to do and then, let's take a look, and we are getting into time trial. That's a team time trial though, right? I believe it is. Um, and then, whoa, okay. Big mountain stage, flat stage, and ooh, that's a very, very sharp climb there towards the end. And so, yep, some very interesting stages to come. And... Uh, we do have another 251 points for the next proper level up, which will give us some more stats. Let's see if we can get that. I think this tour, completing today, will give us a good chance of getting a lot of points. I suspect we get something like 70 to 80 points, experience points for this one. Race day condition, habit. Holy shit! Oh man, uh, what is what the fuck is going on? I mean, yeah, I, I know it's just random number generator, but come the fuck on. This is something that uh, I think famously Sid Meier was discussing um, about randomization in games. I thought that discussion was quite funny back in the day, but I, this is a perfect illustration of what it was about. So... The thing is, humans don't really understand chance and randomization. So, oh well, they, they not from a gut feel they don't understand it. Like mathematically, some of us do. And I can tell you that, yeah, well that is just random number generation. There's nothing, no tomfoolery going on here. It's just, it's just bad luck. Um, but it doesn't feel that way, does it? And that difference is the... Um, difference between uh, knowing what what randomization does and what the thought of what it should be doing so what we expect what the fuck why was he so oh okay they're going hard and yeah um so what we expect a randomized series to be if you have two outcomes zero and one is to to uh, have it look somewhat akin to Zero one zero one 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 zero one zero zero one one zero zero some something like this very close to a zero one zero one right that is what we would expect like from a gut feeling would expect from a mathematical standpoint that is extremely unlikely um, for a truly randomized series because you will get bigger chunks of ones and zeros in that sense and. Like here, this is the perfect example. You will get bigger chunks of just pure negative garbage race day conditions. And that's perfectly within the purview of having randomized race day conditions. Um, it, doesn't feel, it doesn't feel just, though. And that is something that Sid Meier, uh, I think it was, maybe I'm misattributing this, but uh, it was discussed somewhere, um, that... In civilization, I think it was, where the combat system was somewhat randomized. So they would take a look at how many losses you had because of the randomization um, and how many wins you had. And then when one side starts to become too many for the gut feel of humans to call bullshit on that, while it's perfectly within the uh, normal parameters of randomization... Um, they would correct for that, so they would correct the normalization, and I find that I find that so funny. I was like, "Well, oh, but that is not not how you're supposed to do it." But I mean, come on, come on. I think ra I think uh, Pro Cycling Manager could could take a slice of Sid Meier in that regard and just like make it feel more just. Like you have a bad day, you have a good day. No, you have a bad day. Oh no. That's an average day. That's another average day. Oh, you have a good day. Oh, you have a bad day. That's, yep. Doesn't happen here, does it? 
anyway, to the race. Um, 11 riders up front, 2 minutes 40 on the clock, 105 kilometers left to go. Simple as that. So there are no more mountain points to grab. And that means that I can't lose second place and I can't get to first. And there's exactly 6 points to grab to and we would have needed 6 points. Alright, 5 kilometers left to go. And I think I'll try to get into a better position. Uh, they are not riding all too fast, although they're hammering it pre. No, yeah, no, they are pretty putting the foot down. Yes. Um, so let's get into a decent position, and then just do our our superior 99. Uh, let's not not really sprint thing. All right, we are in a perfect position. Oh no, they are going. They are going. Can we follow someone? Come on, Hebert. Uh, no. Hebert, follow. Follow. Go. Go, Hebert. You you know how to sprint, not. But uh, there we go. And we're empty. Yes, you give it your all. You give it your all. And we are. Is that a top 10? No, 11th. Ah, oh, fuck. So close. So, uh, let's have a look at the final standings. Second place overall. Right behind. Um, Roglic and second place there third place oh we did get to third place that's awesome that's awesome we did grab a few points I wanted to grab a few points in this sprint and we did um, so that's great second place there first place that that is what the fantastic little tour that was for us and we get 72 points yeah that's a big one and here we go, team time trial. Oh, I don't know how good. Uh, zoom on Herbert Hufenbuff. Ah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know how good our team is at time trialing. I would assume not very. And there we are. Okay. Let's see. I think, of course, 99 is a given. But um, oh, we have a plus two. Okay, that's pretty massive. 78 time trial. And that's over 20 kilometers, so uh, that is this stat that is counting. Now that's pretty awesome. Let's do 20 seconds at 99. Or well, maybe maybe 18 or something. Uh, Hebert is going 55 kilometers an hour. Holy shit. I don't know if we have to pull again. Five kilometers left. I hope we don't have to pull again because that will get... Oh, no, we can. I think we can. Come on, final kilometer. Get out of the way. No. Ah. Well, we did pretty well. One minute behind uh, Team Jumbo. So, yeah, uh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, Roglic is there as well. Oh, uh, yeah, well. Um, that will make things a little harder. Especially on this stage that is coming up. Massive mountain stage. Let's get into that one. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, wait a second. There are not that many great mountain riders in here. That's interesting. So it's these two guys, Roglic and Landa. And the rest are more like hill riders, really. Oh, and dead people too. A plus one. Okay. Very nice. That is 79 mountain today. And a decent resistance for us of 68. That's not a very steep climb though. It's just a grinding one. Now we do have a team leader in here who is a little prick who wants to command us around. I highly doubt he's as much of a favorite as we are. Don't even know who that is. Uh, Stash. Michael Stash. I just called him Michael. I don't know if, if that's his name. M Mikael. Maybe that. Uh, so who are you and what what are your stats? Also, there's a wall coming up here. It's scary looking. Uh, what the fuck is going on? Why are you riding so hard, you bastards? Come on. Okay, now they've slowed down a little. Ah, oh, no! Habit! Habit, you fucking idiot! Get around the car there! Thank you. That's the, the slow-ass lane. 
And what the fuck was going on here? Why... Why is everyone riding so hard all of a sudden? Uh, are you guys coming back? Yeah, there we are. Come on! Yeah, okay, now we're attached to the main bunch again. Didn't have to do any chasing, so that's good. So now we're moving towards the final climb. Let's set it up to limited at 85. And hang in there at the front. This climb is certainly one where you don't want to do any lead work because of how shallow it is. Uh, 4%, that's still decent speeds, and thus loads of aerodynamic drag. The game isn't all that accurate with drag and so on, but... Uh, oh, now we had an attack going. Uh, three kilometers left, yeah, I think we can go pretty hard then. So let's go 90 dot um, and see what happens. Probably can follow along with a few people here. Yeah, alright. It's looking good. 1.6k. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we can go even harder. Go 95. And there goes the mad it's not that steep. Oh, we might get some time on some of these bastards. And go 99. Have it. Go, go, go. Oh shit. We're fourth, fifth. Okay. Nice. There was a little more in this, but I missed the jump on that group. So we lost uh, 39 seconds on Roglic and a few of the other great climbers. Our team members nowhere to be seen. Of course not. Because that would be, be strange. Uh, so, um, 16 points. Brilliant. Gr great lead work by, by my team leader. And now we are in the team lead role, I would believe. We're in 10th overall and first in the Young Rider classification. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, negative one, doesn't really matter. And now, yes, we are the team leader. So, my Mikkel Stash got stashed and we have full control. Oh, they're going hard up this second category climb. Hanging in there at 70. And should be fine. Yeah, moving back. It's all good. Slowed right down. Back at the front. Not much happening here, as expected. 150 on the clock for six SKPs. 40 kilometers to go. And they haven't really upped the tempo just yet. Now they do. Now they do. Okay. Everything is as normal. Five kilometer marker was right there. So we do one of the famous uh, hoof and poof 99s. Uh, fall, fall, fall. No big names. What? Were they? I didn't spot. Uh, I didn't didn't quite catch it, but I didn't uh, spot. Up, oh, come on, Abbott, get through there. Didn't quite spot anyone relevant. So let's go 99. Uh, come on, Abbott, pull out there. You go, you go hard. And that is the sprint. Can't sprint just yet. Now, now kick off the sprint, Habit. Put the turbo boost in. Yes, Habit. This is great. Oh, we need to block some fools there. Let's pull over to the to the left. No, he's oh he's colliding with your ass. No, 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 no. How how was he able to pass through your ass? Ah, bastard. Two points for leading the young rider jersey. And we almost have our... No, there's the fitness pick. Cool, cool, cool. Um, what does that mean? How long does it last? Oh, that's a good stage to have it for. So quite appreciate that. And preparation... And we do get a little bit of a bonus now for our um, better than 70 recovery. That's also nice. Let's take a quick look at the calendar though. How long is this going to last? We are there. If the fitness peak lasts two weeks, then it doesn't include the most important stage of that tour, which actually matters. So that's a little fucked. Let's see, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's up to the 21st, second stage. And then might end or might not end. Let's see. Knowing Habit, he's probably going to get the sniffle and then die. A pretty rough stage. Proper puncher stage. That is a super sharp climb. I think that will be averaging above 10%. And decently long too. Not a brutal lead up or anything. It's very flat. 
should be in our favor in that regard, but not in our favor in the regards to um, our our lack of hill skill. And zero race day condition. That means we rolled a fucking minus two. Thank you very much. Once again, Habat. Yeah, like we discussed, the randomization doesn't feel random at all. But that's randomization for you. Now we do get a plus two in mountain and hill. And now let's check out this wall over here. Ho oh, ho oh, holy shit. Okay, that's a proper wall. That's a nasty little grindy second category climb. Uh, yeah, takes as much flat skill as mountain skill. And then headed towards a proper second category climb. To kind of a highland thing here. Now we are on the highlands though. Let's see how hard they are racing this one. Looks rather scary. Yeah, limited at 75 at the moment. But no worries whatsoever to get across. I just hope that one of our guys survives this one. Uh, does my helper survive it? Yeah, I think just barely. Come on, hang in there, right? Hang in there. Yeah, okay, we're now on the downhill. Good, good, good. So you can... You, I think you're at the back already, are you? Nah, fuck. Yeah, he was. He was at the back. So someone needs to grab some water before the end. And we're getting closer to the climb. Seven kilometers to the top, so it's a very short one. It's a very short climb indeed. There's still six SKPs up front, one minute fifteen, but that will melt away in this super steep climb. And I think what we're going to do is ride 85 and then 90, or maybe 90 for most of it. So here we go, let's just put up 85, uh, because we do have enough resistance for it. It's just 3.3 kilometers, so yeah, uh, let's go 90. Just ride it super efficient. Uh, are the others doing the same thing? They are going harder than that, I would believe. Yeah, but that's what they tend to do. We have a good position here. Oh, don't block me, bro. Don't block me, bro. Oh, what's going on? Are they... Are they not... Are they not going? There, now we are on our own. Okay. Let's continue at 90. That's a nice little... Nice little gap we got here. Why not? Like, 33 seconds, supposedly. <laughs> it's not quite true, but, uh... Yeah. And now we are supposedly back together again. So, yeah, there we go. There we go. Habit is doing well. There's a 78 mountain. Straight into the wind. We're still going hard. 1.1 kilometers left. It's super steep. Uh, just go max. Whatever. Yeah, there they are. There's the, the field again. Valverde is here. That is, that is certainly a climb for Valverde. We're still hanging in there. Almost at the top. Almost at the top. Come on. Come on. Go get there. Go, go get there. Now we have four riders. Roglic, Lambrecht, and Valverde, and Herbert Hufenbuf. Um, uh, yeah, it's super steep downhill. Uh, Valverde, of course, is a phenomenal sprinter, so let's hook up with him. Roglic, not so much. There's the final kilometer. Still massively downhill. So let's just sprint here. And... Uh, whoa, that's like standing still. Okay, Valverde takes it. <sighs> Come on! Not even third place. But we are in a good group of people here, so that's, that's fine. And we do get time on some of the others, it seems like. Yeah. Yeah, we are certainly going to be further up the, the rankings after this stage than we were before. Herbert Hofenbuf with his famous sprint uh, capabilities. In inverse sprint. Yes, exactly. My daughter cries when, when we talk about Herbert's sprint. That's exactly the way I feel too. So in the end we got 30 seconds. And that puts us in fourth overall. And 16 points for that. Alright, final stage of the tour. Uh, just 120 kilometers. That should be a quick one. Herbert Hofenbuf, fourth. I don't think they uh, will manage to 
outsprint him just that hard. Although, you never know with Habit. So, Habit, how are you feeling today? You have the flu again? Oh, what? What? what, what wow. You rolled a plus one. That's sacrilege. Uh, 77 flat. Holy shit. That's amazing. 63 sprint. You can almost uh, not ride backwards in a sprint. Um, but well, okay, we do have some mountain points. Let's take a quick look at the rankings. So we are... What? What? Are you seeing this? Oh no. Oh no. It's Mass Bonnet, the traitor. Well, we are uh, outperforming him at the moment. That's that's pretty solid. Um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, not not doing any experimentation here. Just keep it at seventy. No need to yo-yo or anything. Just keep safe up front, and we should be fine. It's just one hundred twenty k, and we do have plenty of stamina and resistance today. They are being chased hard. Holy shit, 13 riders up front. Oh, now there's some breakage going on. Um, let's up it to 85 just to be on the safe side. Uh, yeah, maybe they're catching them before the the climb. If that is the case. Oh, there they are back. Uh, and there's a lone attacker going. Now, don't let him ride away. Come on, guys. We do want to to have the mountain rating available to us. Because we could attack there and potentially grab the um, uh, grab the red jersey or polka dot jersey or whatever jersey it is. So if I if I just go and take these guys and let them do lead work at ninety, do you think we can grab them? Not by the pussy, but uh, by 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 the escape group and um, no no I, you do lead work and Hebert is taking a spot up front there maybe we can surprise them with a little attack up this mountain and grab the points in front of Roglic and secure the jersey so that is looking good with 126 four kilometers oh that's a little harsh okay you need to move super hard, though. Come on. You just go 85. Come on, let me throw. And you guys. Oh, there's one. We're catching one there already. Um, yeah, let's have them go 95 or something. Because uh, there's not much space to catch them. Okay, how about just moving hard? Yeah, but it's moving hard, still being protected by the lead out here. That is super hard. Holy shit. Roglic is right there. I don't know if he knows what's going on. 2.7 kilometers. We've almost caught the SKP there. He's right there. And can we get him to just follow me? That would be a lot better. Because then I don't have Roglic on me. Because I have no acceleration. Don't forget about that. So, if I go... If I go 95 now, accelerate out. Come on. Accelerate out. There we go. And attack. And you just cut it. No, uh, what? I have no control over you anymore. Okay. Go, go, go. Yes. Abbott is attacking. Attacked by Rohan Dennis. Come on. Uh, Rohan Dennis. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not Rohan Dennis. Uh, so go, 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 go. Go, Abbott. Go, Abbott. Go, go, go. 95. Go, go, Power Rangers. 36 seconds. Are we going to do it? If Roglic doesn't take it, then we are fine. If he does grab any points, then we're not fine. Now, let's see what happens. Oh, fuck. Equal points. He did grab some points. This bastard. So, five more kilometers to go. We do our famous 90% um, for, for the remainder sprint. Come on. Get through here. Holy shit. 
get get through there. Are they running that hard? Probably are. Two kilometers. Uh, I think we need to go 99 now. Come, come on, Ahmed. Why are you fucking stuck everywhere? Go. The the yeah, now they're going. Their are you actually sprinting? Oh, yeah, he is a decent sprinter. Um, all right, that's the final kilometer. We need to sprint. Come on, Abbott. You are super powerful today. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, riding through other riders uh, like a champ. And that's probably 11th again. Or oh, is it 10th? Yeah, 11th. Yeah, as you'd expect. And what does it mean for the overall standings? Let's have a look. So we're in fourth. That's a decent result. We're in sixth in the sprint jersey. We're second. Ah, equal points in that. That's a bummer. And we did win against uh, Dead Man Rising. Um, and then... Don't mention it. And that gives us 46 points. So 99 points remain until a decent level up. Not too bad. But that should be it for today. In the next episode, we are going to take a look at how long our fitness peak is going to last. Hopefully longer than just this time trial. I wanted to have it on this stage. And that would be fantastic. Oh, it wouldn't hurt on this stage either. But yeah, uh, there's a nice mountain stage here as well. Yeah, we shall see how it goes. So hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.